Right, so question time. The BBC's flagship political news and debate programme. It's been a joke for years for planting right-wingers in the audience, guaranteed to be picked for questions. The panel's becoming ever more unbalanced, combined with a tame Tory-centric host stepping up for the government when they need to. And after this week's show, there should be no doubt in anyone's mind that things at the BBC are not only becoming progressively more blatant in their right-wing leanings, but dangerously so in the messaging that's now being put across. This week's panel consisted of honest Bob Jenrick, he who was housing minister for the Tories helped a billionaire dodge infrastructure levies on a billion pound housing development, and now he's a minister of state for immigration. He was sent out to bat for his government's fascist stop the boats bill. Ken Clark, a retired Tory MP, because there's not enough Tory opinion on this panel, and somehow another Tory opinion was definitely deemed much more relevant than, say, a Lib Dem or a Green panellist. But that's nothing new either. Richard Maidley, GMB's resident right-wing host, Sarah Clark for the Labour Party, as if they aren't Tories as well these days, and Yasmin Alibi-Brown as the required journalist, and indeed token non-right-winger, as the case evidently proved to be. Needless to say, it was an intervention by Alibi Brown that had Fiona Bruce leaping to the defence of the establishment on the topic of Boris Johnson's honours list. Every inch the rewards for cronyism that we all expected them to be. But perhaps none of us were quite expecting the level of abuse the honours system was going to get from Bozo to the point he'd included his own father getting a knighthood. Alibi Brown brought up the subject of Stanley Johnson being a wife beater as one factor making him getting a knighthood so egregious. She said in response to Ken Clark that actually, Ken, he was a wife beater, Stanley Johnson, on the record. At which point Fiona Bruce pitched in to clarify that point, but did so in just the worst way she possibly could. She said, so Stanley Johnson's wife spoke to a journalist, Tom Bauer, and she said that Stanley Johnson had broken her nose and she had ended up in hospital as a result. Stanley Johnson has not commented publicly on that. Friends of his have. They've said it did happen. It was a one-off. Friends commented. Friends who presumably heard it from Stanley Johnson himself. Both sides of the argument. Don't be silly. So it, it must be true. A Johnson lie? Surely not. But Bruce just repeated what was clearly a prepared statement unquestioningly, even signing it off in the most dismissive tone, casually dismissing it, it seemed, as a one-off. That's in dispute of what his wife of the time said. I'll come to that again in a moment. But being dead now, I suppose her point of view is no longer relevant for BBC Balance. A one-off is right up there with, I'll never do it again. That's what all women beaters say, isn't it? I'll never do it again. How many women have been beaten to death in the end by men who said, I'll never do it again? I sat there thinking, my God, did the, did the BBC really just dismiss domestic violence as typical Johnson roguery or something? Mitigating it. How is that a balanced view? How is that holding perpetrators of domestic violence to account and sending a message that it's a bad thing when the BBC seems set instead of holding the accusers of it to account? How is that not coming out to bat for Stanley Johnson, in effect, by playing down what is one of the lowest forms of violence there is, and a pretty exact extreme example of it at that? He broke his wife's nose. His wife at the time, Charlotte Fawcett, Boris Johnson's mother, told the journalist Bruce mentioned, Tom Bower, that Stanley Johnson had hit her many times over the years, and of the instance, incidents where her nose was broken, the thing she told Bower, and that Bruce didn't mention, was that he made her feel like she deserved it. And that should have been the most important message convey conveyed when this got raised, because that speaks of Stanley Johnson's character, because nowhere did Bruce take into account the feeling of the victim in this. And that message is conveyed to other victims of domestic violence who might have been watching. Fiona Bruce, as a consequence of her actions last night, ended up being perceived to take the stance of presenting the aggressor as the victim, presumably because in BBC land, if someone isn't there to defend themselves, they must defend them instead, no matter what as long as they're alive, of course. Yet, when it is a documented incident, why should that be necessary? You've downplayed the issue of domestic violence to defend somebody allegedly guilty of it getting an honour. How is that a responsible thing for the BBC to be doing? It was a one-off. Well, that's all right then. How do you know it was a one-off anyway? Bauer clearly documented otherwise. Why not highlight that? Why are the rest of the media not screaming at this appalling display of tinnitus? Why have the BBC not issued a statement of contrition? Why did Bruce, as I say, I think it was a prepared statement. They were ready for this to come up, even read it out. Did she not think to herself how it sounded when she was reading it? Is she that out of touch? 
or living in such a Tory-centric bubble that she couldn't see the problem? I find that very hard to believe, given she's an ambassador for the domestic violence charity Refuge. Let's also not forget this happened just the day after International Women's Day. She's already been very good in the role of Question Time presenter, and I'm being kind to her for that, but from the, begin from the beginning. But she's not improving it any way either. By calling it a one-off, she has belittled victims of domestic violence everywhere and sent a message to those doing it that actually, if someone can be knighted despite being one, oh, it can't be that bad. Breaking your missus's nose is fine as long as you don't make a habit of it. It's repellent. Fiona Bruce has ended up using her position to defend a domestic abuser. Her position should now be untenable, but I doubt she'll even get a slap on the wrist. Gary Lineker pointing out foul racist government policy, though, oh, that's different. Defend the Tories at all costs should be burnt into the side of BBC HQ, because that is what they stand for, not the phrase, if liberty means anything at all, it means the right to tell people what they do not want to hear, which is writ large on the side of their own building, and is a signal of absolute hypocrisy of what comes out of that building these days. I'm sure you would agree with that, or at least a lot of you would. The BBC have trivialised the issue of domestic violence. They have allowed that to happen on their platform, and surely sensible people across the country cannot let that go? I put in a complaint about it. How about you? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit like and subscribe. Leave a comment and hit the notification bell too so you don't miss the next one. Also look out for me on other social media and, and lots of other interesting stuff by clicking the link tree link in the comments below. And I will see you next time. Cheers, folks.